Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belf. You're back at the Venetian, the world's biggest hotel, with a new restaurant since I was last here that I'm delighted to visit. The Yardbird is here at the Venetian Hotel and Casino, and I'm delighted to talk to executive chef Todd Harrington. How are you? Very good. How are you? Hey, listen, thank you for having me here. Firstly, you walk through the door, and the energy is sensational. You've created something that is very special here, just the second you walk in before you've even had a drink or tasted anything. Absolutely. No, you know, what we're going for and what a lot of people have said since we've opened is when you walk through these doors, you feel like you've left the casino. You're not in Las Vegas anymore. You're down south. And that's important because it can be draining uh, when you're going through there. And then you arrive here at the world's biggest casino. I suppose for you, there's no greater honor because they could have any chef they want. Absolutely. No, I mean, we're, we're right next to the greatest chefs in the world. We got Elmer Lagasse. We got Daniel Balud. So obviously it's a, it's, it's a lot of competition, but there's nobody in the hotel or in the city for that matter that does our kind of food. So really there's nobody else at the, at the food chain that's kind of battling us for that. What I love about your food is it's authentic and it's southern and I think this is probably the backbone of American cuisine isn't it really it's the thing that people enjoy the most the fried chicken uh, and the many other things on your menu there are a few surprises like the frog legs that you stick in there um, and you have to in this town you can't just deliver it as people expect absolutely not no um, you know a lot of it kind of is a sentimental value so a lot of people that have grown up uh, in the south have come out here expecting one thing and they get what they've expected and more so you know our chicken um, you you know, our chicken's brine for 27 hours. Uh, it's deep fried in pork lard, uh, 100% pork lard, so it's it's very flavorful. The, it, it's all in the brine, obviously, but there's there's obviously this extra uh, kind of kick that everything gives you because it's not just regular southern food. It's always with that extra twist at the end just to make it more Vegas. I don't think you can fake it in this town in terms of restaurants now. There are too many good ones. If you're not very good, you're going to close. There's a great pressure to deliver a good meal, isn't there? Yes, there's a big pressure. I mean, a lot of people come in with certain expectations. Some people from the South, I get called out to the table and they say, we're from the South, this better be good because we're going we're gonna to let you know if it's not. And we always deliver. I mean, every once in a while, there's somebody that wants something that's you know vegetarian and we always up- accommodate it. But for the most part, people come in for what we're known for and that's our fried chicken. And again, I mean, in this town, it used to be about they're going to come, they're going to go, eh, don't worry about it. It's repeat business. It's about your reputation. And of course, with the internet now, there's no hiding from your food. People are going to talk. Cool. Absolutely no. We're, I mean, we're we're responding to all Yelp reviews, whether they're, whether they're good or medium. But we always just want you to come back and kind of experience, you know, what we always wanted Yardbird to be, which is kind of you come down, you're down home, down south. You know, everyone knows your name, type of thing. The service is, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I know I might sound a little biased, but in the entire casino and even in town, our service is bar none the best, the best service. And you've got to have that. Again, this is a service town, isn't it? If you annoy your customers, they're just not going to come back. Um, Therefore, what's the most important element in your restaurant? Is it the food? Is it the atmosphere within it? Is it the service? Or is it all of it together? It's everything together. I mean, the atmosphere is very abundant. You know, the service is also abundant. And then the food, when it comes out, it's kind of like you get that shock of, wow, you know, I thought it was going to be one thing and it's a whole nother level. And that's what we're going for. We're going for flavor profiles that are very prominent. We're going for, you know, abundant hospitality. Abundant hospitality, obviously, meaning, you know, we're going to treat you just like our guests. You know, guests is not just a word thrown around anymore. We treat it like, you know, be our guest is a very uh, uh, sentimental thing for the company. We want you to be our guest. We want you to come. We want you to return. We want you to talk about it with your friends. And uh, and just, you know, it's a whole different experience than just sitting down, getting an order of food, and 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 paying and leaving. That's that's not necessarily what we, what we aim to do. As people are listening to this interview, they're looking at pictures of your food, and I guess that is re- your responsibility. I guess you take it very personally, and therefore I have to ask, why you? Why have you made it here to Vegas, one of the best culinary towns in the world, and so many haven't. Why are you so special? You know, Yardbird, uh, Yardbird sits in uh, in everyone's heart. They just don't know it. So when they come here and you order, you're looking at things that, that just kind of like, uh, you know, pop off in your brain like oh wow I've had that before you you always have this notion of what it might taste like and there's uh, everything's a lot, very very intriguing um, plus you know our, our, our chicken is what we're known for so we, we get a lot of people that come in specifically just to try the chicken or specifically to retry the chicken because it's so good you must love being here as well there is no casino in Las Vegas with more footfall I mean you're opposite Rock of Ages you're opposite Human Nature uh, the Frank Sinatra tribute with Bob Anderson's just down the street I mean it's an amazing location to have 
we are in, you know, if, if, if this casino was, was shaped like a cross, we would be right in the center of it. I mean, we're, there's nobody that walks past that, that, that I mean, if you, no matter where you have to go, you're going to pass the yard bird. You're going to see it. You're going to smell it. What's the thing I should have then? I mean, we can see lots of pictures here of your menu. If you were coming in here and ordering a dish, what would it be? Um, the first thing I would order is a BLT. Um, our fried green tomato BLT is one of our staples since we've opened back, you know, three years ago. Um, but now, obviously, for your main course, anything with fried chicken. I mean, that's something that we that we put our blood, sweat, and tears into. So it's it's a long process, but um, it's it's definitely worth it when it comes to the table. Thank you so much for having me today. I can't wait to eat. It's to find a restaurant that's different and new and inspired and has an energy. It's quite rare in this town. It's a foodie's town, but to get it right is a rare recipe, and you seem to have done that. Todd Harrington, thank you for having me. He's the executive chef here at Yardbird, which is at the Venetian Hotel and Casino. You can come down and see him. You can't miss it. Right in the center of the casino. Thank you for your time. Thank you.